Hello and welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing fantastically. Now this is a follow-up video to my lesson on relative pronouns and relative clauses. So if you didn't watch that, I will leave a link below for you to check it out first. It will give you good background information. In my last video on relative pronouns, I talked about who, which, whom, that, and whose. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about when, where, and what. Also, as a more advanced part of the video, we will look at compound relative pronouns. So stay until later for those. But first, let's start with when. And when can be used as a relative pronoun to make it clear which time we are talking about. It can be used to begin a defining relative clause. If you don't understand a defining relative clause, you can check my previous video on relative pronouns. I talk about them there. For example, I was at a party in Brooklyn when the new century began. Actually, this is a true story. I was at a wonderful party with wonderful people. It was an amazing time. It can also be used to begin non-defining clauses. Again, if you don't know what a non-defining clause is, check out my previous video on relative pronouns. She had an idea when she woke up about how to start her own business. Of course, we can also use when in questions. When did you meet him? Do you know when they got home? Moving on to where. And where can be used to make it clear which place we are talking about. And it can be used to begin a defining clause. We were at a park where there was a beautiful forest or a non-defining relative clause. He went into the building where we used to work at the end of the street. And of course, in questions, where did she go? What can also be used as a relative pronoun, but it's a little bit different to when and where. We use it when the noun is not known or specified, so there is no noun to describe. She liked what you were wearing. So we don't say she liked the dress what you were wearing. That is not correct. You could say though, she liked the dress that you were wearing or the dress which you were wearing, but not what. What replaces the noun? It can be used at the beginning of a sentence. So, what I need is a good night's sleep. I'm tired. What I need is a good night's sleep. Or to begin a relative clause. I saw what you did. Now, if you are curious about compound relative pronouns, we will talk about those now. Compound relative pronouns are formed by adding ever to a pronoun. For example, whoever, whichever, whomever, whatever. We also have the more formal versions of whosoever, whomsoever, and whatsoever. Compound relative pronouns are used to talk about all or any members of a group or things in a group without saying a particular one. Hmm, that sounds very confusing. Let's look at some examples. First we have whoever. So a good way to think about this is to think any person who. So it refers to any person who. And it can be used at the beginning of a sentence. Whoever said that, please stand up. So if you imagine we're in a room, whoever said that, any person that said that, please stand up. It can also be used at the beginning of a relative clause. I'll give the umbrella to whoever comes to get it. So whoever, so any person. I'll give the umbrella to any person who comes to get it. Whichever refers to one or ones out of a group of things. Again, it can be used at the beginning of a sentence. For example, whichever book you like, you can take from the shelf. Or at the beginning of a relative clause. We'll use which 
whatever idea you like. Now, whomever and whomever reper, repers, whomever refers to any person whom, like who. And again, it can be used at the beginning of a sentence. Whomever they choose will be good. Or to begin a relative clause. Give the package to whomever you see at the door. Now, whatever refers to anything or things. It can be used at the beginning of a sentence again. Whatever she says, he won't agree. So anything she says, he won't agree. Or to begin a relative clause. I'll eat whatever is on the menu. So I'll eat anything that is on the menu. Now for whosoever. And this is a more formal version of whoever. And it refers to any person. It can be used at the beginning of a sentence. Whosoever finds the key should return it to the reception desk. Or to begin a relative clause. They will accept whosoever speaks German. So they will accept any person who speaks German. Maybe it's for a job, speaking German is necessary. So they need someone who speaks German, anyone who speaks German. Now, whomsoever, and it's the more formal version of whomever. And again, it refers to any person. But of course, whom is the objective pronoun. And again, it can be used at the beginning of a sentence. Whomsoever you invite to the party will be okay with me. Or to begin a relative clause. He will take whomsoever he likes. And the final one is whatsoever. Again, it's the more formal version of whatever. And it's used to refer to anything, like whatever. And it can be used at the beginning of a relative clause. So, I will eat whatsoever is in the refrigerator. Oh, I'm getting hungry. She will do whatsoever needs to be done. It can also be used at the end of a relative clause. Do nothing whatsoever. And that's my cue, the end. This is the end of the video. So thank you again so much for watching and I really hope you learned something and you enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be very happy to read them. Or if you have your own ideas using relative pronouns, you can write them in the comments below and I will do my best to check them for you. Thank you again and I really look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.